I am a big, 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 big fan of. It's turn for a million dollar question. Drum roll. Tips for uh, medical students entering this year. Please study from day one. Feed yourself with as much knowledge as you can. Because... Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Srishti Kumar and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I post contents related to medical school and I am a third year medical student at KIST Medical College. I'm yet to give my exams but I can say I'm third year. <laughs> Anyways, so today I'm going to be telling you guys about the books that you should be studying for your first and second year of medical school and um, these are just my opinion and um, most of the student, what most of the students do. These, these are the recommendations that most of the students in my class follow. So before starting about the books, uh, there are like there are six subjects uh, for uh, uh, first and second year of MBBS except the community medicine. So it is anatomy, physiology, pathology, biochemistry, microbiology, pharmacology. Did I say all six of them? Anatomy, pathology, uh, microbiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, pathology. And you guys have been asking me to make a video of this for such a long time. So I would like to say thank you for waiting uh, for this video. I have my exams and it's so tough. Second year is like so difficult to even filming videos. But thank you for being patient with me and still watching my videos. So without further ado, let's move on to the video today. So uh, starting from anatomy. So for anatomy, people mostly use uh, two books. Some students prefer Gray's Anatomy as well, but I would suggest to have it in a PDF form. These two books, um, this is Moore's Clinically Oriented Anatomy. And then there is this one, um, BD Chaurasia. And this is the book that I use for anatomy. And the reason being um, for like, uh, in more like the th concepts are given in paragraph forms, um, but whereas the concepts in BD Chaurasia, they are given in points and with headings and subheadings. So it makes you easier uh, to study BD. But uh, for me, I, I use more because um, it's a standard book and I want to do um, I want to try for USMLE so for future as well and more anatomy it has like standard answers um, you know there aren't like a lot of mistakes and I think our which our professors they also follow most of them suggest us to follow this book so that's why I use this one so for anatomy uh, this book is my bible i absolutely love this book i adore this book this book has made me score very amazing in my musculoskeletal system um i understand this better concepts better with this book i cannot stress enough how much i really adore this book and and it's Woo! at last so for this book uh I just love this book so much because I'll tell you the reason obviously it's it's it just has figures uh, but you know we are visual creatures and it's easier for us to understand through visual rather than the text form and it has such amazing pictures I would also like to share the best way to use books because you also need to learn how to like make a proper full utilization of what you're studying so what i do is um i understand i book, put the two theory book and this book side by side and what i do is write on the on my atlas you know the points for example if you're learning lateral wall of nasal cavity uh, and if you're learning about the boundary um, you know what makes the lateral wall and the meatus and it has uh, different sinuses opening for different sinuses so for that if you write on it I think that will help you visualize better and um, also 
it will for me it helps me memorize the things better and visualize it so i cannot stress enough about the importance of atlas but it's totally your choice um, whether you want to buy it or not uh, you can always get pdfs but atlas I, I, I really love it i'm glad I, that i bought it i'm glad that i made this process and uh, for anatomy there is a one another book that is medical embryology this is langhans so this is amazing book uh, i think for embryology you should you must use this book because it's very easy to understand as well as the figures in here are asked in your board exams in your practicals in our college at least so um, please follow this book and next up we have pathology and i am a big 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 fan of robin's pathology i study this book so much when i joined medical school i was amazed by the subject pathology is such an amazing subject it's so beautiful to learn about disease their pathogenesis and i really love this book this there are two types that are available in the store one is robin's basic pathology and the one that i use is uh, Pathologic Basis of Disease. This book is available in two volumes uh, and you should prefer this one um, this uh, as compared to uh, this one. Um, this is better, amazing, I love it. This is like, you can see how much I love the book. Uh, this, is, this is my favorite book for my first and second year until something else replaces it in clinicals but yeah so moving on for microbiology i use apurva sastri and this is what do i say i love this book as well this book is such an amazing book um it has everything first year i don't know if i made a lot of use of this book but for second year uh, when you go to your practicals you mostly have to write about their lab diagnosis and it has so much of information oh my god everything it has like you don't even have to search internet and when you write from this book your file always gets signed <laughs> because for me personally this is also the book uh, for microbiology that most use student use this is my roommate's book again and um i don't know i have not read this book i don't know a thing about it uh, for, as for my friends it's uh, less and easier to understand um and our teachers do take name of this book but i haven't like read it once so i don't know about this one but i don't think there is anything comparable to upper basastri for my microbiology i don't think so as for biochemistry um i studied this book um but i don't know uh, this is satyanarayan um by indian writer it's in biochemistry i really don't like no i like the subject but it, i don't find it very much fascinating as i find pathology and anatomy i bought this but i don't i have read it a couple of times but this is one book that i have failed to study nicely because it's like very confusing um the topics are here and there and uh if you are aiming for um exams like us emily i think you should prefer harper's biochemistry but this is what i bought so next book is uh, of physiology and i don't think there is a replacement for this one it's guyton and hall medical physiology guyton and hall it has like so much of content it the things are written in paragraph and i uh, don't get me wrong i love the book i did study the book for half of my second year until the half of my second year and then i got lost because it has so much content and once you start reading and the by the by the end of the topic you won't like kind of remember what you studied 
I don't know if that makes sense. Please let me know in the comments if if you're a medical student and if you feel the same way about Guyton and Hall. But you have to study and you have to learn. So I don't think there is a replacement for this uh, book. But if you uh, think it's too much for you, you can go for alternative books for physiology as well, which are, I think it's GK Pal and Bizlani. Also to add, uh, I also have histology book for anatomy and it's good for writing points um, in your second year while you are making your practical files and you can take this book to your lab, histology lab to understand the points better and to memorize it. I think for histology, I think it's totally your choice if you want to get the book or get the PDF because I haven't uh, really used this much. I use it during my labs uh, for sure. Last but definitely not the least, it's pharmacology. So the book for pharmacology I use is Essentials of Medical Pharmacology. Um, most people call it KD3 Party. This book is amazing as well. Uh, you know, it's about how you study more rather than books. So for pharmacology, KD3 Party, uh, it's very uh, like important for classification because it has very concise classifications in very concise manner. Um, also, you can see Lippincott's Pharmacology. You can download the PDF or get it in your library uh, because in Lippincott, the drawings are very amazing for your mechanism of action uh, and for understanding the concepts better. And um, the contents and doses, everything is nice about this book, but you, uh, you should, uh, but I w if you buy one book, I would also suggest you to see other books from your library or have PDFs, you know, because um, so that you can write a very uh, beautiful answer in your exams. As for, as for first year students, there is one more subject in Nepal that is Comte Medicine. Uh, it has sociology, anthropology, biostatics, environment, nutrition, family health. Yeah, so for first year in uh, Tribune University, you have come to medicine and for that um, there is no replacement for Park and K Park. For anatomy practical, you, you can use Cunningham's. Um, these are available in different volumes. For anatomy, you also need one more book which is Neuroanatomy and uh, for Neuroanatomy, I studied Snell's Anatomy. Uh, it's amazing book that one too i got it from my library i studied uh it's like neuro we have a neurosensory system in our first year so i studied from that book it's an amazing book uh i have this book uh for physiology practical it's for viva questions you can get it in the library I apart from all this book you can also have one question bank turn for a million dollar question Woo! drum roll uh fast track whether you should use fast track or not um my answer to that is it's your personal choice completely up to you but uh, my opinion in fast track is fast track porne ki no porne banda pani fast track kasari porne is important uh, because uh, there are a lot of students in my class or i think most of medical students use fast track Ani, I have no opinion on that, who uses it or not. Uh, I didn't study fast track in my first years, um, but I did have it on my second years because my seniors were like, oh my God, you, you are gonna have six systems and you are never going to finish it. If you study books, you need fast track. So I do have fast track in my second year. And what I suggest is um, to the students watching, um, fast track say, um, there is a way to study fast track. For me, I use it for two things. One is to see the past questions and another one is to how to form answers. When you're new to medical school and when you are in your first years, you do not have a lot of ideas about how to write answers and you're not uh, in touch with your seniors as well. And I would like to give my own example. So in my first years, uh, what I found, my one mistake was I didn't know how to write answers. So if for pathology, if you are um, given 
a question like write about the morphology of small cell carcinoma you have to write gross and microscopy so for my first year i was um i didn't really know that i mean it's the same but i didn't know at all so i just wrote it in like bullets for points for wise and i didn't get like the full marks obviously because uh, that's not how you write it and another question was to write about metastasis so I wrote about it but I wrote about only the vascular process because that's what I thought was the answer but um, if you see fast track uh, you also have to write about the lymphatic what I want to say is if you want to use fast track it's completely fine personal choice but uh, do not depend on it like neglecting your books and completely depending on fast track i mean you might pass your exams but um in verse, but these books have such amazing information so many beautiful things may have to explore the beauty of it so depending on fast track and will like limit your um knowledge i believe my personal opinion no offense um like view it but um, please don't eat it completely or if you want to eat it your it's also up to you and other tips I would like to share to the students joining medical school this year uh, for the first year medical students always have the PDFs of standard books and view it when you have time uh, other than that since I'm interested in USMLE I study Pathoma I watch Pathoma videos um, other than that I haven't really used any other video channels I do use certain uh, um, I do view videos in, in YouTube but they uh, I don't really remember the channels <laughs> my bad and tips for uh, medical students entering this year please study from day one feed yourself with as much knowledge as you can because it's a medicine is a beautiful field and um, uh, your knowledge is always going to be uh, important and it's always going to help you in life so don't get too caught up in your books uh, have time for your hobbies uh, have time for sports have time for your friends because medicine it's a beautiful field but it's a lifelong commitment it's such an overwhelming journey so you should uh, always find that time for yourself you should always um, understand the importance of taking breaks and always take care of your mental health medicine takes so much of you so that's why it's very important for you to be there for yourself to take that necessary break to have that time for your family for your friends uh, and just enjoy this journey i would say uh, it's so beautiful um, I'm happy now I will be going on to like another chapter of my life that is into clinicals and it's always exciting it gets overwhelming at times but you should always remember your ground you should always remember why you joined the medical school in the first place and why this is important for you and just you know just learn have fun feed yourself with knowledge and treat everyone with kindness uh, treat yourself with kindness and, and thank you for watching my video i would really love and appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like because that will motivate me to produce more and more contents and if you have any other topics that you want me to talk about or uh, um videos that you want me to create please comment on this video i appreciate you you guys reach out to me on instagram you you guys reach out to me through youtube uh, I, i'm very happy to be doing this with you guys so thank you so much and i'm super grateful i hope everyone has a good day thank you for joining in